Infection prevention and control helps to stop the spread of germs like bacteria and viruses that cause respiratory infections and gastroenteritis. Hand hygiene is a very important part of this. In this video, you will learn how to clean another person's hands. There are some situations where someone might not be able to perform their own hand hygiene. It could be the result of medical conditions such as weakness from a stroke, or physical barriers such as one arm in a sling, or cognitive reasons like dementia. Being able to provide assistance and support someone else's hand hygiene will keep that person and everyone else safe from germs that cause illness. First, let's refresh the basics of hand hygiene. There are two ways to perform hand hygiene, hand sanitizing or hand washing. Hand sanitizing is using an alcohol-based hand sanitizer to kill germs. We should sanitize our hands before entering or leaving an aged care home, before entering a resident's room, after touching items that might be touched by other people in shared areas like door handles, after leaving a resident's room. Most of the time, it's perfectly fine to use hand sanitizer. However, there are some situations when it is better to wash our hands. We should wash our hands with soap and water when our hands are visibly dirty to remove anything stuck to our hands like dirt. If we've touched something which doesn't look clean and after we've used the toilet. Now that we've covered the basics, let's talk about the process you'll use to help someone else clean their hands. Remember, studies have shown that cleaning for the right amount of time makes a big difference. It should take about 20 seconds to clean your hands, which is the same as singing happy birthday twice. Step 1. Clean your own hands. If you would like more detailed information on the process for cleaning or sanitizing your own hands, there are some videos to guide you. Visit the Aged Care Quality and Safety Commission's website and look under the Resources tab. Yes, these hands are clean, so we can go on to Step 2. Step 2. Decide if you need to use sanitizer or soap and water and then apply enough product to your hands. For sanitizer, use a blob around the size of a 50 cent piece. For soap, make sure it is enough to get the hands soapy. Step 3. Take one of their hands in both of yours. Step 4. Is to perform hand hygiene as well as you can. Make sure you tell the person what you're doing as you go through each step. These are general steps and you should cover all of them but how you perform them will depend on the person's preference and their needs. Remember to make sure you clean the palm and back of the hand, clean the fingers between the fingers and the thumb, clean the wrist if possible, clean under all the fingernails if possible. The best way to do this is to lock the fingers together and then rub. Dry the hand. If you're using soap and water, rinse the hand and use a paper towel to gently dry the person's hand. If you are using sanitizer, allow the hand to air dry, do not use paper towel. Step 5. Now it's time to change hands and perform hand hygiene again. We have now covered the steps for helping someone else clean their hands. Remember, hand hygiene is an important part of preventing the spread of germs like bacteria and viruses. Helping others with hand hygiene creates a safer environment for everyone. Let's work together to keep everyone safe and support infection prevention and control.